The Assault class is one of the best classes to use in Battlefield 2042 and it offers some of the best specialists too. It's a class that is suited more for an aggressive playstyle and also offers the ability to deal damage to vehicles which is extremely useful. I'm going to be going over the best loadout for the Assault class and giving some tips on how to be a better Assault player. So if you find this video in any way helpful or just enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it. For me, the Assault class is the most used class in the game. Majority of the time spent playing this game is with McKay, and honestly for me, he's easily one of the best specialists in the game and suits my playstyle extremely well. McKay comes equipped with a grappling hook, which is a very good gadget. It allows you to get up into spots other players can't and get you the high ground which ultimately gives you an advantage in a gunfight. It also gives you the ability to move around the map a lot quicker by using the grappling hook. You can use it in gunfights to quickly change your position and keep your enemies guessing, or it can also be used as a quick escape when you're getting overwhelmed by enemies. It can also be used to get you on top of vehicles and destroying them with your C5. Personally, it's one of my favourite things to do on this game, and I almost forgot it can be used to kill players, but just make sure they're low on HP because it does deal a lot of damage. McKay's specialist trait is Nimble, which allows him to move faster when aiming and on zip lines. Moving faster whilst aiming comes in really useful, especially when strafing from left to right, as it makes it harder for the enemy to keep their aim on you. This just adds to the aggressive playstyle I mentioned in the beginning. Moving faster on zipline also comes in handy, as a lot of the times when using different specialists and using ziplines I find myself dying a lot more because of the decrease in the speed. McKay works great on maps like Manifest, Flashpoint especially on the Sea Flag, Stranded and mostly maps that offer a lot of vertical gameplay. Now let's get into the actual loadout. The gun I recommend using with McKay is either the SFAR or the AM40. I advise using assault rifles because you'll gain that weapon proficiency which gives you free extra mags. I would use the SFAR if you're not being as aggressive as it offers a lot of range and damage. If you've got the high ground and got yourself in a good position this gun is amazing at getting your kills. But it's not only that, it offers a ton of utility with its grenade launcher. You have the high explosive, incendiary and the smokes which all come in useful. You can also use the armor piercing round which deals damage to vehicles. If, however, you're looking to play more aggressive, I would use the AM40. It's a perfect hybrid between an SMG and a soul rifle. It offers great hip fire accuracy along with a high rate of fire. The movement speed is also a lot higher on this assault rifle compared to the others, and it's perfect for short to medium range. Moving on to the secondary, I always go for the G57, but remember to put it in burst mode. For me, this is the best secondary on the game. All of the Deagle is also good, but you have to be a lot more accurate with it. With the drum mag on the G57, you get 35 rounds, which is nearly as much as most weapons. It's also got very good hip fire accuracy. For the gadget, I go with the C5 explosive, so I can damage vehicles. Like I said, you can use your grappling hook to get onto vehicles, and it saves you having to run towards them and risk getting yourself killed. It's also good to use against enemies in crowded areas. For the throwable, I use the smoke grenades. These come in handy if I'm getting overrun by the enemy. I simply throw the smoke down and use my grapple and hook to relocate. Or when a teammate needs reviving, I throw one down just to give myself some more cover. So that's it for the assault class. McKay is a great option and it might take some time to get used to the grapple and hook. But when used correctly, you will find yourself getting a lot more kills and winning gunfights more consistently. Zane is also another great option that I would recommend using. Dozer and Sundance are fun, however they are very situational. If you want to see me do this type of video for the rest of the classes, be sure to leave a like and a comment on the video, and I'll see you in the next one.